we have our rate section where I can go and select a supplier. It'll show me all the services that they have and I can view the rates from there. So now I have my different date ranges ranging all the way back to 2015. So I can go and select the date range. We have different price codes for them, whether it be a, a standard to operator rate or our um, DI direct to the public. Um, here we've got a rate name showing that it's uh, closed for renovation. And then we can go and actually view the rates, the cost per group, per uh, cost and sell. Um, we can go and show just the room costs if we rather. Um, we've got our, our taxes and our vouchers and our, our stay rules, stay three, pay two, for instance. Um, then our packages, those are very, very similar to the way that we set up our bookings. Um, so we can go and save a package. And this is just kind of a template that we've created so we can use it down the line. Um, so I can go and view that package. It's going to look pretty much the same as a booking all the same kind of um, services. There we go, uh, 22 day package. So in order to use this, I would then just go to my trip builder. I would go say uh, my bookings create and then instead of creating a new, I would create a booking from a package. Um, and then that would use this, this sort of template. Um, then we've got our people and organizations. This is just loading a new person onto the system or we can give a supplier outside access to the system in order for them to see, well, what bookings do they have coming in the next uh, in the next couple of weeks? So that's also a very nice feature we've got there. And then we've got system, that's all the maintenance and backend. Um, I just wanted to go over the supplier portal quickly. So this is where we will create new and maintain existing suppliers. We'll upload photos, our contract with them, so that's quite a nice, uh, a nice feature that we've got there. Uh, we can actually keep track of um, all of our relevant contracts that we've got with the different suppliers all directly in the system over here. And that would be under our, our documents tab. We'd go and upload that over there, um, whether it be uh, documents or just an email saying, yeah, sure, keep the 2019 rates for 2020 or whatever the case is there. Um, we can go and link amenities. These show up the little icons on the, the trip builder. And then they also show it on our dock builder, which is another important feature. So once we've built our whole package um, or our booking, then we would go and let's just open up one of these that I've got over here. Um, let's see. Okay, so it's just two services. Oh, maybe that's a bad example. Um, let's see, explore life maybe. Then I can go and say open in Doc Builder. Okay, it's also three services. Let's go and say open in Doc Builder. And this is our document production system. So this is where we'll create a quote, we'll create an itinerary, um, and it shows all of our colorful information. All of that pulls through. We've got these beautiful photos. The template is, is all editable. So I can pull pieces from, from up at the top here, down below, um, and I can rearrange things. Um, I've got the flexibility to go and add in my own context. Um, so I can go find a little bit of information for KwaZulu Natal that I know specifically my clients might be interested in. Um, and then we can go and change the, the icon if we, if we say, okay, well, uh, maybe they're going through a different area. We don't want a shell. We want to have an elephant there. Um, we can go and change that image. So it allows us to go and upload an image from there. Uh, so we've got a lot of flexibility there. It shows our itinerary um, very nicely laid out. Then at the bottom of the page, we've got our terms and conditions, our cancellation policies. Um, then we've got our itemized quote, which is just a nice simple one over there. And our invoice, same kind of thing. And then we've got our vouchers, which are loaded for um, only the confirmed services. And then we've also got our travel guide, which is the whole itinerary put together. Um, it's got a placeholder for a map where we can put something in there. And then it's got any kind of uh, PDF information also attached. Thanks. Have a great day.